Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this oxygen sensor and clean it. If you have a 9th or 10th gen uh, Honda Civic, and uh, this is an air to fuel ratio oxygen sensor, sometimes these sensors get dirty. If you have a sensor, there's another sensor down below over here. If you have a code for that sensor, you can remove it and replace it or you can simply clean it. Sometimes you'll get a code like such as a P0420 catalytic converter below threshold. So what you're going to do is you're going to simply remove your sensors and you're going to clean it. Sometimes the little holes in that sensor gets clogged up and they will not give a proper reading. They do produce like a 5 volt signal. So if the sensor is really dirty, it's not, it's not going to read properly, it's not going to change that signal, the voltage signal to the proper amount of signal of the voltage and you're going to have codes, okay? Sometimes the component will not be bad such as the catalytic converter. So it's best you clean it before you spend thousand dollars, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this sensor. It's a very simple job. All we do is we disconnect this sensor, remove it from this bracket here. I did do another video on how to change the sensor, so that'd be it just for that. But if you need to replace it, you can follow that. So, 3 8 socket will remove the sensor, okay? Very simple. Simple as that. And the sensor comes right out, okay? This is not fairly it's easy. There's another one down below here. You can do that, that one to yourself. And it only took me 10 seconds to remove this, okay? But anyways. Let me switch up my camera angle and then we're gonna clean this with a cleaner, with a spray and that's it and then we're gonna put it back together. Alright, so what we're gonna do next is we have the sensor out. Usually there will be deposits of uh, carbon buildup over here. So all it needs is a good flow of uh, exhaust to get in there to clean it, okay? So you need a parts cleaner. This is simply a throttle body cleaner. You could use a brake cleaner, parts cleaner, anything you like. And it's safe, it's going to improve your gas mileage also. It's not just that you're cleaning this because you have a catalytic neural code or a oxygen sensor codes. All you do is you simply take this and you spray this onto this sensor. Give it another touch. Wait a little bit. Give it another touch. And that's how simple it is, alright? Now, we're going to let this dry up, okay? Let this dry up. If your sensor looks very bad, give it a few more touches. Let it dry up. I'm going to let this sit right here. While then, I'm going to set up my camera and we're going to put this right back together. If you have any lights on, the check and you let it on, just simply reset it and wait for it. It should not come back. If it does come back, then you have to make the further step, maybe replace it. Alright, once all this is done, you do need to put a little bit of anti-seize around the threading of this sensor right here. Just spread it all around nicely and evenly. All right, after that, you take the sensor, you insert it into the hole, catch the threads, and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna tighten this, okay? You could tighten it to your best ability where you think is gonna be good. All right, just snug it nice and tight. You don't want to go crazy either, okay? After that, you take your sensor, you plug it to the connector, it should click just like that, and make sure you connect it to that little bracket right there. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and that's how you are going to clean or replace this sensor. There is another sensor down below, very simple to get to. You can remove that and clean that as well. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.